Coca-Cola, one of the most popular beverages in the world. This dark red drink in a familiar bottle shape is reaching thirsty people all over the world every day. You might be surprised to hear that, about 10,000 Coca-Cola drinks are sold worldwide every second. As a result, Coca-Cola comes among the world's richest companies. In 2020, Coca-Cola's net income was $33.01 billion. But behind the establishment of this incredibly rich company lies the tragic story of its inventor who died helpless and penniless. So in today's video, we will tell you about that tragic story. A pharmacist named John Pemberton invented this famous drink called Coca-Cola. He fought in the American Civil War as a soldier in the Confederate Army. During the Battle of Columbus in 1865, he received a fatal chest wound and almost died. After that injury, he had to take morphine as a pain reliever for a long time. As a result, he became addicted to morphine. To overcome this addiction, he started experimenting with different types of plants using his pharmaceutical knowledge. In 1866, a year after the Battle of Columbus, he began selling an alcoholic drink he named Pemberton's French Wine Coca. He used to make this drink in his private pharmacy Pemberton's Eagle and Drug House. The drink became popular as a pain reliever, antidepressant, and sexual stimulant. In 1886, Atlanta passed a law prohibiting the production, purchase, and sale of alcohol to its residents. Pemberton's venture suffered and he was forced to convert his invention into a non-alcoholic drink. A few days later, he registered his company and perfected his famous secret recipe with the help of his longtime friend, Willis E. Venable. They wanted to promote this drink as medicine, but they accidentally mixed the original syrup with carbonated water and decided to promote the drink as a refreshing soda. However, people did not like Pemberton's new drinks. Yet Pemberton believed that it would one day become the national drink and be consumed by young and old alike. Eventually, Pemberton began selling his drink recipe to his business partners living in Atlanta. But the drink did not cure his morphine addiction. As a result, his health was rapidly deteriorating. The price of morphine was so high that Pemberton had to spend a lot of money to satisfy his addiction. In 1888, he died of stomach cancer in a very miserable condition. Still, Pemberton wanted to leave a portion of the Coca-Cola company to his son Charles Pemberton. Unfortunately, Charles Pemberton, himself a morphine addict, sold his share to future descendants of the Pemberton family. He too died just six years after his father's death. In 1895, the sale of Coca-Cola began in almost all states of America. However, Pemberton was not lucky enough to witness the tremendous popularity of Coca-Cola. That was our video for today. If you have any questions or observations about the video, don't forget to comment. And if you enjoyed the video, then like and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more unknown and interesting facts.